Hey there, math fans. Around Father's Day this year, I made a video on how my dad and I used to discuss the best way to drink ice water, with a straw, without a straw, off the top. And I talked about some research projects you could possibly do related to that. Um, this is just about some of the things I found in asking those questions. So there's the so-called Stefan problem. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. That's a Slovenian uh, physicist who in the 1890s gave a set of differential equations that seemed to model this phase transition boundary question pretty well. Um, what I found interesting was in recent years, there is active research happening. There have been breakthroughs. These were two popular articles written for, I think it was the journal Quanta, um, about the research and some of the breakthroughs that have happened. Um, I guess the breakthroughs are about the fact that the model itself, even though it's a good model, you could have situations where maybe there's a dent in your ice to start with, and because of that, you get a sharp point, and that leads to what we call a singularity. What if there's a whole bunch of sharp points? Could it be possible that after your ice has been melting for a while, you reach in and pull out a piece of ice and it's sharp? How can we prove that that's not going to happen? So that's where the, the research has gone. And I guess there's been some progress made. But I just wanted to say the other piece of this, so I'll put some links in the description. I, I don't claim to know very much about this, but it was fun to explore just some tools. I found this online tool um, in Desmos that someone made. Sorry, there was not, nobody to cite. But this is called a mean curvature flow, where at each point it talks about the curve, it takes the curvature at that point and reduces the curvature in a faster way around that point. Um, that was cool. I'd never really played around with these flow ideas. Um, here is one made by a mathematician that's, a, that's free online. I'll put a link to it that says, draw any curve you want, closed curve whatsoever. And wherever there's lots of curvature, and from a Math 126 student, you'll have thought about that, um, it will quickly shorten the curve around that. And that's really fun to watch. It's called a curve shortening flow. I'm not claiming that those are good models for ice melting, but they're some of the tools people have looked at. The actual model looks at the interaction between ice and water. So imagine you have a long strip of blue ice going off to the right. On one edge you put something that's hot and it starts to melt. So you can solve that differential equation. I found the, a solution online. I didn't find it. But where you can figure out where the edge of the ice will be after a certain amount of time. You can figure out what the temperature will be. So there's some interesting questions there. Go look them up. Hope you found that interesting. All right.